Hey y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We are at the Throttle Company in Columbus, Ohio. We're gonna take this wonderful Mutsubutsi V85 PE up for a hot spin. This is a V100, I don't know the name of this, and the Stilvio with a V100 engine also. So uh, we're gonna go out and do some riding. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. And down the road we go. Cruise control, high load, adjustable clutch lever, adjustable brake lever, mode button, starter switch, which also controls the mode when the bike's running. Gear indicator on the dash. I love the torque, the torque feel. <laughs> Very smooth. Looks like a USB on the dash right there, maybe. Yep, it is. Fixed windshield. The mirrors seem pretty good. They're far out there, so you don't have to worry about your shoulders. Beautiful view. I think it's a six speed. Loads of torque. Excellent clutch feel. Different clutch feel, but excellent. The dash is small, but very easy to read. Bright colored. The handling is superb. The feel is awesome. Very good to feel. So the bike feels very smooth compared to my V7, my 750V7. And it has an immense amount more torque, substantial amount more. It feels much larger than it actually is as far as power goes. Handling is superb. has four riding modes, customizable, rain, road, and sport. We are in road right now. You change modes by hitting the start button when the bike's running. The shift lights are actually, you know, when the tachometer hits about 5200, the yellow lights come on and at a higher RPM, the red lights. I have not had the center red light come on yet, but uh, it goes right on up there. The dash is very easy to read. You know, it looks small, but it's actually very, the information comes across very clear. I love the blue. I don't know if that's uh, something you can change the colors, but uh, easy to read, easy to read. The bike is ultra smooth, really. Compared to my motor it's incredibly smooth. The shifter is, uh, it's got a very smooth feel, but it also has a punk into it. it. It has a, you know when you're in gear, you know when you're in gear, you know what gear you've shifted, you know you've made it. I love the tank. Just a gorgeous tank. Beautiful bike. Absolutely gorgeous bike. Cruise control. Not sure what this is for. Horn, of course. Mode button. Not sure what that, how that works, but the uh, has light. Look at the step in the bars right here, from wide down to thin. Looks like the front suspension is adjustable. We'll take a look at that here when we get off the bike. Boy, that is a beautiful machine over yonder, isn't it? That's the new V100. Bike really jumps. What a, what a machine, what a machine. Here we are at Throttle Company, Columbus, Ohio. Thank you to uh, Dylan for letting us ride this hot rod. Fuzzy Biker here. Wow, what a ride that was. Just took this little hot rod out for a little spin with uh, Dylan here at. Uh, Throttle Company, the vintage motorcycle part over yonder. They've got Royal Enfields in there. They've got a whole mess of these Motobutsis. There's the Silvio over there. There's this hot rod here. I don't know what that's called. I can't pronounce that word because, you know, that's how I am. But uh, isn't that a beautiful machine? I love the color. I love the color. But so this is the one I rode. It's uh, about an 850. It's got a uh, uh, six speed transmission. I don't really have a lot of information because I wasn't, I didn't know I was going to be riding it. But uh, check out the shock on the back here. 
adjustable for preload it looks like. Over here it's got the, uh, I think we're adjustable for preload and compression on this one side. Upside down fork, massive brakes, I don't know how big they are, in a radially mounted four piston, it looks like, yeah, four piston Brembo's, is that a mono? Yeah, that might be a mono, mono block. Amazing, amazing looking thing. Floating disc, of course, but nice little covers over the uh, forks. Check out that front end, isn't that beautiful? I love this bike, I just love this model. Hand guards over here. The ride was smooth, uh, surprisingly smooth. That was a big surprise for me. Loads of power, lots of torque. Uh, a lot more than I would think an 850 would have, but very smooth, just very smooth performing. Terrific bike, look at that thing, isn't that neat? I love the way the heads, you know, uh, just a big old crash bar on the bottom. Pipe up the side here. Gorgeous, isn't it? Single-sided pipe, shocks on this side, shaft drive, of course. Tubeless wheels, look at that, spokes, but tubeless. Big old disc brake on the back end there. Let's take a look at that. Me gusta, look at that, dual piston uh, caliper. The fronts are Brembo's, I'm not sure about the rear. Beautiful, 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 it's just, it's just art. Check out this castings here for the uh, pegs. Just a wow thing, you know. The control was fabulous. Just fabulous amount of control. Uh, has cruise control, it looks like. Lights right there. This switch up here must be for like driving lights or something. I don't know if this bike has them, but uh, maybe it's part of the front end, I don't know. Love the fender, love, love the whole thing. They've got a really pretty blue one stashed away in the back back there. If you want to demo something like this, maybe get a hold of Dylan here at uh, the Throttle Company in Columbus, Ohio. Just a beautiful, beautiful machine. I'm just, I'm absolutely in love. I wanted to ride one of these forever, just forever. I wish I could tell you more information, the size of the gas tank. This has probably got something like a 20 liter, 22 liter, 21 liter, something like that. Just amazing amount of, and isn't that beautiful? And by the way, the seat, the seat was incredibly comfortable. We rode them, I don't know, five or six miles. And uh, I just love the way the seat felt. This, this is a bike you could cruise across the country on for sure. I think it's a very comfortable riding motorcycle. Loads of suspension. It is tall, but it's, I, I didn't feel like I was on a tall bike. It's very manageable. Just look, look at that. Isn't that just a gorgeous thing? Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I'm not sure what kind of tires these are. Like I said, I wish I'd have been a little more prepared, but uh, you know, when opportunity knocks, you take it, right? Anyway, life is good. If you're all interested in something like this, get yourself down here to the Throttle Company in Columbus, Ohio. Go to their website. I think it's throttlecompany.com. I'll put it right down here right now. Uh, give Dylan a call. Anybody down here, they can help you out. Good folks, good folks. Hey, life is good, life is good. Get yourself out there and ride. Get out, get out there and live it. Wahoo. Yippee-yay-yay, yippee-yay-yo. Down the road we go. Beautiful, beautiful machine.